R.S. Lewis, a.k.a. Insomniac Writer, and this is another fucktivity in the news and social media. Former Vice President Joe Biden has just won the 2020 presidential elections against current president Donald Trump. I'm just going to put a disclaimer out. First of all, I am not into politics. I don't even like talking about politics. However, this is big news, and I promise I will give y'all another news kit. Go to MSNBC, Fox News. People have been covering in this all throughout the whole run or go around. Me, I've just been sitting here busy trying to avoid those damn phone calls and text messages that I got at least 10 times a day repeatedly to the point where I didn't answer any calls or text messages if I didn't recognize the number. I digress. So, Donald Trump ain't too happy, y'all. Now, he was already claiming fraud long before the election started and got underway, telling his followers and constituents, go into the polls, no mass, mass, just go in and vote. We're still dealing with this coronavirus, COVID-19 stuff since March. People are afraid to still interact with others. So to mitigate the spread of this potentially deadly virus, folks were encouraged and advised by professionals and experts. Unlike me, I'm not an expert, I'm not a pro, but they were advised to do melon bottles. Now I went and mask up with my hand sanitizer and pushed the button myself, but that's just me. The problem with the whole melon ballot was that so many states that never really enforced it before allowed it to happen and they didn't start counting the votes until election day. They still had to give um, a chance for a lot of the mail-in votes that did not get into the polls and ballot counting places by election day time to get there. Now, everybody had a deadline when they were supposed to send it. It's just like when you go, you in school and the teacher say, look, make sure you turn this paper in in class today or email it to me by midnight, before midnight. This put Trump and his, his followers, his MAGA goons, all in a tizzy. They were in Michigan, banging on the doors. It was like a whole mess. It was a fiasco. And I guess a lot of officials were afraid that things would get out of hand. It was like, look, y'all didn't get here at such and such a time to count these votes. We just, we already full. Club is packed. Sorry, y'all gotta wait. First of all, most buildings and places are already at 50% capacity because of the coronavirus. A lot of security has been beefed up in a lot of places. And not to mention that the country has just been on fire these last couple of years, like racial tensions flying, you know, a lot of stuff going on. People just add ends. I mean, you can't even talk about being a Republican versus a Democrat without somebody getting upset. I can see why they say in bars, don't talk about two things, politics and religion, because they can be very heated. We can't even agree to disagree. Like, why can't people be civil? Actually, it probably started when Obama got in office. Like, I don't know if y'all know, but uh, militias and gun sales actually were like going increasingly insane. People were just armed up to the two from now when a black man got in the office. But whatever. Y'all don't believe me, go Google it. I ain't got time to debate with nobody. We did see the whole thing in back in 2000 when Al Gore was going against George W. Matter of fact, come to think of it, three judges that are now on a Supreme Court bench right now, um, Barrett, the more recent one, Kavanaugh, and Roberts, I believe. He's like a chief justice or something. So that being said, they were lawyers present when the counting fiasco stuff, the GOP sent them down there. And when they asked her about it, when she was getting sworn in and they were doing all the questioning and stuff, just like they did with Kavanaugh, he was all sweating and she all of a sudden had amnesia. But whatever. Recounts are normal. That's a part of democracy. Why not just wait until the recount? This whole sore loser thing, being in a tizzy, is not a good example to lead by. You look at Asia and Europe and other continents and places like that. We are a fairly, fairly relatively young country compared to those places. And they look at us as being this big superpower, but being this big whiny brat. I mean, it's like we're the Joffreys of, of, of the world. Like we got all this power, but we just bitch and complain about shit that don't go our way. Another thing, you know what this whole election reminds me of? I don't know if you guys watch Walking Dead, Night of Living Dead, Somebody's Dead, whatever, a zombie flick movie, and the group of survivors are all hunkered down somewhere, and one of them goes off whatever for whatever reason, gets bitten, and instead of saying, hey, I got bit, guys, I got about a day or so before I turn, let me go out there, or let me sacrifice myself. You're already about to die. Why not go out? with some pride and dignity. No, you cover the damn wound, the wound festers, gets even worse, spreads until you become infected and then you bite, kill, turn, or maim other people in the group. 
that's what this whole thing reminds me of. And that's what popped in my head because the man went up there, the president went up there talking about, I won. As far as I can see, I won. And then what makes it worse, Kellyanne Conway goes on Fox News talking about, no, he didn't say that. He was just claiming the states and yada, 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 what the president means. And da, 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 da. First of all, the man claimed he won. He went on Twitter talking about he won. You don't believe me. He did. Why can't the president just say some normal shit? Like, I understand he's not a politician. I understand that. But the job comes with a certain um, professional courtesy. Things you should and should not do when you're in the public eye. You have a certain responsibility. It's just like, um, you know, Uncle Ben told Peter, you know, great power, great responsibility. And I'm not understanding why this man don't see that. And don't get me wrong. There were some times where the media was coming on him and creating narratives that didn't exist. But guess what? He made it real simple to do. Then they went up there and said, well, Biden was like, we won. No, Biden did prematurely claim that he was predicting to be the winner based off of the reports his professional advisors and campaign folks were saying because he was flipping states. And eventually he got the 270 plus electoral votes needed to win. We saw this fiasco happening four years ago with, when Trump ran against Hillary and she won popular votes, but she did not win the electoral votes. Each state has a certain amount of electoral votes. Doesn't matter how many people vote in the state. If the majority of those votes are blue or red and that state has only a certain amount of electoral votes, then hey, that counts to your tally. Nobody expected this virus to cause this whole thing to happen, but it did. Speaking of uh, the whole voting thing and the MAGA folks and all this other craziness, just not that long ago, they arrested some dude because he was plotting to go blow up the place and attack the place. I'm like, wow, these folks are really out here tripping. Nobody is taking responsibility for this. Why is it that these folks are just out here doing madness? Now, when they was looting after George Floyd lost his life, you know, oh, they're goons. They're tearing up the city, but... When they go out here acting a damn fool and posting this propaganda and acting like that, oh no, they're just, I guess, fine people. I don't know. It seems to me that when people of power, i.e. rich men, are told no. Come on now. Why, why can't you just not be a sore loser and accept defeat? You don't want to concede. You don't want to accept that you lost. You want to go picking, picking, and being petty again on Twitter and doing this. Just take the L to the chin. You know what? I'm done. I don't even want to talk about this. I'll see y'all next week when I talk about the same chronicles. I might do a Zoom fitty. I'm done. I just, I, I, I'm done. I'm, I'm just, I'm done. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. I meant to tell y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and um, hit the bell to be notified when I do future videos. This is why I don't like talking about politics. I be getting upset. Folks be getting on my nerves. I done had Trump supporters and all these other people cuss me out because I ain't agree with them. I got liberal people cuss me out because I ain't agree with them. Look, I don't agree with none of y'all. I'm allowed to do that. That's what I do. I don't got to agree with nobody. I'm not a blind follower. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Be awesome. Be you, but above all else, love yourself. I'll see you guys later.